Hi, I'm Lo. And I'm JJ. And we're from the channel Lo Walker 01. That's all one word. On our channel, we vlog, do cooking videos, tags, challenges, and much, much more. We're getting tired of the same old spaghetti dinner, hamburgers, fried chicken, you know the usual that families always cook. We're looking for something unique that will make us want to get in the kitchen and cook. And we wonder if our friend Lyle over at No Hippie Barbecue can hook us up with something. Hook us up with something, Lyle. We know you can do it. What's up, everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. And what I'm going to be doing today is a white chicken lasagna casserole. Perfect dish to get rid of some stuff I have. I actually wasn't thinking about adding tomatoes in it, but I had some tomatoes that look like they're about to turn, so we're going to use those in this dish. Had some uh, spinach left in the fr freezer that, you know, wasn't going anywhere. So this is the perfect dish to uh, use up some of the stuff that you have in your uh, freezer. I was actually thinking about using some uh, zucchini, but zucchini's looking pretty good. So anyway, let's go on and take a look at what the ingredients are that I'm going to be using. First of all, we're going to start off with some uh, chicken breast. And I have these chicken breast poaching in some, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I had it po poaching in just some leftover vegetables. I cut up an onion and took the skin off of it. I think I threw a carrot in there that was, uh, you know, was going a little bit, uh, well, we feed our dog carrots, so I had some leftover carrots, threw some of those in there. Anyway, just any vegetable that I had that was either I thought was about to go bad or just wasn't going to eat, I used that to poach this chicken. So I'm going to move this over here. That's going to cool down. We are going to be using some spinach that, uh, just frozen spinach, ricotta cheese, lasagna. What I'm going to do with the lasagna is I'm actually going to kind of boil them like you would for lasagna except when it's soft I'm going to cut them into uh, strips so they're not going to be whole. We have some basil. Uh, the basil we have outside just isn't uh, enough right now. It's just a little baby basil. We have some Parmesan cheese. We have one egg left so I'm just going to throw that in there just to get rid of it. I wouldn't have even used it if we didn't have this egg. And I don't remember if I mentioned onions. We're going to chop those and then tomatoes, we're going to chop those as well. Uh, also whole milk. So I'm going to go ahead and get this prep work done. Actually, Mason's going to get this prep work done. And uh, we'll be back here in just a few moments. I'm working on this uh, bechamel sauce or white gravy or whatever you want to call it. If you look over here, I have the chicken drained and that's just cooling off. So anyway, I made a roux. So basically, if you don't know what a roux is, you know, just think equal parts flour, equal parts, you know, either butter or bacon fat or some kind of oil in a bechamel sauce. I just used butter in this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep, I'm going to go ahead and blend this up until all the flour is cooked out of it. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, you don't want it too brown because we are trying to make a white sauce, but if you were trying to make something like uh, gumbo or something like that, you'd almost want to take this to a, you know, a chocolate brown, or if you were making a gravy, you'd probably take it to like a peanut butter brown. But we just want to get this flour cooked out. So I'm going to go ahead and let that go, pick it up in a minute. Minutes. I think we're kind of where I want to be. Now, I keep calling this a bechamel sauce, and... Flavor wise, I think it's gonna be like that, but I want this to be thicker. So I do want it to be almost like a You know, like I said a cream of mushroom type of a situation. I'm gonna go ahead and add this uh, Whole milk to it Now as this cooks it is gonna kind of thicken up so I am going to go ahead and keep adjusting this while uh, The milk comes up to temperature and we will be back when this part is complete. We've got our noodles cooked, which we are going to get to here in a second. Uh, our sauce is made. That is, again, like I said, a very thick, let's call it a very thick white gravy. Now I'm going to go ahead and get kind of the inside of this done. So we're going to go ahead and throw in 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. I'm going to throw in 
a few tomatoes, got our basil, and some onions. So we got that. I'm gonna hit it with this egg. And I'm just gonna stir this up. I also have my frozen spinach I need to go through. Now I'm getting it everywhere. One ingredient that I neglected to mention earlier, which I probably need to go ahead and grab now, some of this mozzarella cheese. Hey, sorry that took so long. Now I'm not gonna worry about any salt or pepper or anything like that in this right now because I have plenty of salt and pepper in this gravy that I made. All right, so we got that. Come over here and hit it with this chicken and it might be time for me to get my hands in here all right now this is my gravy or my bachamel sauce if you want to be hippie about it and that stuff tastes so good I was like wanting to go and make some uh, chicken fried steak because that's pretty much what it tastes like so if you want to hint on what this tastes like that is pretty much it good to go i'm going to go ahead and add these noodles to it and i'm going to just fold them in You know what? It's time for me to get busy. So let's just fold it in. All right, that's good enough. And now it's just time to go ahead and layer this in. Not layer it, but put it in all right so that is that now last step before it goes in the oven Hit it with a little bit of this Parmesan cheese, or Parmesan if you want to be saying it correctly. Just to get a little crust on that. Boom. Now, I am going to come back over it with just a little bit of cooking spray, just to kind of moisten up that top so that's good to go now I'm rolling I'm gonna throw that in the oven 350 degrees for about 35 minutes we should be good to go came out of the 
oven probably about 15 20 minutes ago I did put some uh, mozzarella cheese on top so here's kind of what we're looking like right now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a little piece for myself see what's up all right so there's my piece I'm gonna go ahead and taste this now I haven't tasted this yet Mason mm -hmm. come here okay yeah think about that Eat it. Tastes great. We need to know about it. Extra chores for his ass. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. That stuff is good. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.